everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a few things that I've picked up recently. Also, can we just take a moment for this filming setup? Because this is actually where I used to film back when I moved into this flat. So I feel really weird being back in this setup because I just like to move around and switch things up a lot. But I've ended up back here and I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should I film here more? And another thing before we get started, it is a billion degrees in here because I've had to shut the windows and the doors because there's just loads of kind of building work going on outside so it's very very hot I think it's the hottest day of the year so far today so I'm dying a little bit I just thought I'd mention that in case things get a little bit sweaty on my face whilst we're filming that is why it is boiling today so I'm actually going to get started with a few pieces from Topshop the first of which is this gorgeous floaty kind of boho white shirt. I thought this was super cute and basically the purchase of this was inspired by my friend Reem and she just has the most incredible style. I will pop a photo from her Instagram and her Instagram name on the screen right now so you can go and follow her because her style is just my favourite thing ever. She dresses so well and I just absolutely love her in general. I stalk her all the time and she knows this. Um, but I picked this up because she has a top a little bit like it from Revolve which I'll link below as well. I really love the Revolve shirt. It is gorgeous but I've just done a Revolve order so I don't have anything else to put in my basket along with that one thing and I like to kind of bulk buy from Revolve. So I saw this on Topshop and it's very very similar. Um, it's slightly more jersey in its fabric and that initially did scare me because I was like this could be a really thick jersey but it's actually quite nice and light and it's got this gorgeous netted detailing and a really gorgeous ribbon trim um, down the v-neck with the little string and tassel tie-ups. I just think it's so cute and this was £28 and I got it in a size 8. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will try it on for you guys now and let you know what I think. So this top is gorgeous, it's super floaty, I like it tucked in more than um, hanging loose but I do still actually really like it hanging loose, I think it's going to be a really nice everyday top, it's really lightweight, very very soft, um, quite stretchy I feel like in its material, um, I really like this detailing down the front and it's just so lovely and floaty and quite cool and I just feel really really comfortable in it. So in terms of bras I would wear with this because I always get asked questions on like what bra would you wear with that? I would either wear just a plain white one or a white bandeau bra or no So bra. I loved that shirt and I actually got some shorts to go with it. Again inspired by my friend Reem I just basically pinched the whole outfit off of her Instagram. But these are the Rosa shorts. I've just been doing the, up the button if you were wondering what I was doing. Um, these are the Rosa um, Topshop Moto shorts. I picked these up in two sizes. So I'm going to show you guys both in a second. Um, but these just have a really nice ripped frayed detailing at the bottom of them. And I just really liked the blue denim on this. I liked the color of it a lot. And the fact that it wasn't too high-waisted, you can wear these kind of high-waisted, but you can also, depending on what size you get, you can wear them lower down on your hips. And yeah, I picked these up in two sizes, basically. To cut a long story short, Topshop sizing is terrible um, in terms of shorts. I can always find a pair of jeans that fit me, and generally skirts, dresses, everything else I'm fine with, but shorts in Topshop are evil. So basically, on the bottom, I am a 10. Just in general, I'm a 10. But in Topshop shorts, I always have to go up to a 12 or a 14 um, to kind of stop them being super, super tight. I don't know if they just make them to be incredibly tight, but honestly, I always have a total nightmare when I'm buying shorts off of them. And generally on ASOS, I don't have that issue, but I love the quality of Topshop shorts. They're always a lot softer and a lot more comfortable, which is why I go back there, even though I hate the sizing. So these are the Topshop shorts. These are the largest size. These are the 14. Um, but I just love how loose they are. There's kind of that much excess material on them. They're not tight at all. Um, yeah, I just really like them. I like the loose fit. I feel so comfortable in them. They are a lot bigger around the waist. Um, so what I've just done is I've just popped a belt there. I think it works really nicely with the color of the denim. And yeah, I just feel so comfortable in this set. I'm gonna try the size down on and see how I feel about that. Um, Cause it might be that they still have a lot of room in them, but yeah, I just really love big comfy um, shorts. So yeah, I really like these. Okay, so the size 12s in the Rosa shorts look like this. They are a lot shorter and I think that they're a lot more clingy on my legs. They really do kind of show everything on my legs. I don't think they're as flattering as the size up. And the thing I don't like about them being a size smaller is that these bits are tighter and they just don't hang 
that nicely. And now I have some things from ASOS, the first of which is this white River Island skirt. I don't have like a button up denim skirt at all. Anyway, this I saw on ASOS and just fell in love with. I think it would work really nicely with a striped t-shirt um, for like days when I'm just kind of around Brighton or London. It could also work really nicely with just little camis on holiday or with off the shoulder tops as well. Um, and just plain t-shirts in general. I just think that this is gonna be a really nice staple summer piece and it's not too light and flimsy. So I feel like it's the perfect city holiday piece because it's not super structured um, and too kind of, it's not gonna overheat you, but it's not gonna be super, super floaty. And if there's a breeze, you just feel chilly constantly. It's kind of, so basically it will keep you warm during the good old British summer when things tend to get a little bit chilly. Um, and I just loved the gold detailing on the buttons. And I just thought this would be a really nice staple summer piece. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. Oh, and this was 32 pounds and the shorts were 28 pounds. I forgot to say how much they were. And I picked these up in a size 10. And of course, you know, the situation with the shorts. So the River Island skirt looks like this. I think I got it in a 10 and yeah, fits really nicely, really like it. The denim isn't too stiff, but it's not too thin, so you can't see my underwear or anything, which is great. And yeah, I think this is a really nice summery piece. I think it works really nicely with the gray t-shirt. I've got a couple of blue ones, so I think this would look really nice with. And as you will have spotted in the cutaway, I styled that skirt with a gray top, and that is actually one that I picked up from Zara. I picked this up in grey and white um, and these are just really nice v-neck, really soft, lovely material slouchy tops. These are a bargain delicious £12 each. These are £12 each so they're a tiny bit more expensive I think than the ASOS Forever t-shirts. I think they're more expensive um, but the quality of them is just so so lovely. They feel so soft um, and they're really nice and slouchy. They're quite long um, but I would say if you're taller, then they're really great and they'll be a really nice length. But also if you're smaller, it means you can tie them really easily and you can just tuck them into things and they're just a really lovely quality t-shirt. I also picked up the white version. I wasn't originally going to do a cutaway of this one because I thought that this and the gray one were exactly the same, but I actually styled them with another item later on. So keep an eye out for this one. I picked both of these up in a medium size just because I love really slouchy t-shirts and they just hang perfectly. I'm so, so happy with these. So the gray t-shirt from Zara. I love. It's so soft. It just is really nice and slouchy and loose and yeah, just absolutely love it. The V doesn't come down too far. Like I don't mind a deep V-neck, but I know for some people it's quite important. So yeah, the V-neck comes up to a really nice point. Um, yeah, it just slouches really nicely. It is actually really long. So for anyone who's taller, this is going to be a great t-shirt for me. I'm like, whoa, this is a dress. Um, but yeah, I like having the excess material because it means I can tie it up if I'm wearing like high-waisted jeans or leggings and I want to knot it, it allows me to tie it really nicely. But I can also just tuck it and it looks really nice with things like this that are high-waisted and all tucked in. The next thing I picked up was this really cute little denim style um, drop hem dress. It's super cute, it's got little brown buttons all the way down it and the drop hem um, has little pockets on it as well. I just thought this would be really cute for just, you know, being around the city during the summer, but it could also work quite nicely if I do go away again. I can't see how much this was um, because ASOS don't put prices on the tags, but I got this in a size eight and I will link it below for you guys. As with everything else, everything will be linked in the info box. So just open that up and it will all be there. So this is the little blue denim dress, which I actually really like. I wasn't sure on it at first and on looking at the website I was like this could look awful on me because the kind of drop hem style doesn't normally work but it's actually quite nice what I would definitely do is pin the pockets maybe because it is nice to have pockets but they do make me look so much wider um, so I might pin the pockets or maybe unstitch them depending on how um, they're kind of sewn on um, and the one thing that I would say with regard to styling is I personally would wear it with either just the top button undone or like two undone because I just think that it's a bit more flattering than having it done up straight across because I think that that looks bad um, but I actually really like it just kind of flopped open but it's kind of personal preference some people might love it with all the buttons done up so um yeah I do think it's really really cute though uh, one thing to note is it does smell like 
my old doctor's surgery when you open the bag up so I'm not sure where this was made but it smells funky. I also got these little shorts from ASOS which are super cute. I actually own these in two colours already. I own them in black and nude and these are more of the camely khaki, 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 I say khaki style, that kind of coloured short. I saw this colour on the website and I just thought that I would give it a try. I actually bought these in a size 12 because they didn't have my size um, so I'm hoping they fit okay. I'm not 100% because my other ones fit pretty much perfectly um, so I'll see how I get on with these but these were literally £20 which I think for the quality of the shorts and the cut which is so nice. It's such a bargain. So yeah, I'm gonna try these on now and these will be linked below as well. These are the stone colored shorts and for some reason sizing up in them has made them really long. My other ones are definitely nowhere near as long as this. Yeah, they're quite nice. I don't love the color actually as much as I love my other ones which are a kind of dusky pinky nude color. These are definitely like a little bit more safari-esque. I feel like I'm about to go on safari. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure on these. They are quite nice. I think they're growing on me the more that I look at them. I think I'm just not used to seeing them this little bit more oversized because I'm used to looking at my other pair. So um, yeah, I think I might keep these. I'm not sure, let me know what you guys think. I also picked up these shoes from Glamorous of ASOS as well. And these are the kind of tassely tie-up style shoe. I think these are so cute, I keep seeing them everywhere. There's a pair from Sam Edelman that I have my eye on and I don't know why I haven't purchased them yet because I constantly look at them and they're in the sale so why haven't I purchased them? I don't know but I decided to pick up these because these were super super affordable and see if I liked them. These have like little bead detailing, lots of them, lots of the styles around at the moment are embroidered um, and I do think I like the embroidered a little bit more maybe um, but these have little beads so these are kind of a little bit better if you have somewhere where it's really like nice and sunny but then it can often rain a lot so like the UK these are great um but yeah I'm not 100% on these so I'm going to try them on and show them to you now so these shoes definitely get minus points for being the most difficult shoe to put on in the entire world the lacing on them is actually really hard to thread through um the shoe basically it's got this bit it's not like a loop it's just sorry for the close-up of my feet it just goes through the sandal there's not like just like a ring so it makes changing the lacing really really difficult um they do look super cute but i would just never wear these because there would be so much effort to put on i'm tempted to try some different pairs from different places just to see if they're maybe more well made so yeah i'll let you know how i get on but I think those are a no because they're just such a faff to put on. I kind of got one on and was tempted to not even show you my foot with the other one on because it was just such an effort. I've just realised that I've had makeup on my face the entire time I filmed this. So let me know what you thought of everything in the comments below. I always love, I always say this, but I always love getting your feedback on what you like and what you think looks good on me. And it's just like... It's just so nice to have people say, oh, I really like that, or no, I didn't think that looked so good. And it's really, really helpful when I'm trying to decide what to send back. So definitely leave me a comment letting me know. I hope you are all having the best day and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm back now uploading two days a week, Thursday and Sunday, and it's a 4 p.m. upload time, both on Thursday and Sunday. So it's super, super easy to remember. So I really hope you guys come back and join me for my next one. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.